Hi, this is Blockchain Bulls, and today we're going to talk about XRP. First and foremost, I'm not a hater on XRP Ripple, but what we're going to talk about is XRP debt. And so I'm going to give some ideas that will keep you hopeful, and then I'm going to give you some ideas of alternative thoughts, especially if you're someone in the community of XRP who's holding on to a huge bag of XRP saying, man, we're going to go to the moon here in the short term, and I'm going to show you some things that you should be considering uh, if you're an XRP investor uh, and you're hopeful about Ripple. For the most part, there's reasons why people are really excited about Ripple, and that's what got me uh, excited about it. It was the problem they were solving, which was global remittance. Uh, I send payments internationally, and I've always had a, a gripe with the slow processing of direct deposits or wire transfer fees and how long it takes to actually get there. And for me, XRP was a solution to that. So for that alone, I always like that. And that's what made me want to invest in their project. However, as you all know, they are currently under scrutiny with the SEC. So we're going to talk about everything related to XRP and uh, the current state of how I feel about it. If you're new to Blockchain Bulls, you can subscribe and keep up with us, watch some of our other videos and send them to our friends or also watch Digital Asset News and Altcoin Buzz. And so those guys there also have really good content. Let's go ahead and dive in here and talk about this. So right now, XRP has been dethroned by Polkadot. Uh, it's now the number five cryptocurrency, uh, currently sitting at 27 cents. People are, there's a, a lot of people out there holding on to a significant amount of uh, XRP, so it still has value, especially on the international market. You can't really get XRP anywhere in the United States. I've heard rumors that Uphold was like the last man standing on that. But as you go through here, what you mostly see is a lot of exchanges. Uh, as you know, Kraken is getting ready to delist, I believe, on the 28th or the 29th. Someone can correct me in the comments if you want. But I believe uh, Uphold is the last man standing on that. Uh, if you do hold it on Coinbase or some other place, you can send it to a wallet and just let it sit there. Uh, that would be probably your best solution. But again, not professional financial advice. You need to make that decision on your own. Uh, it's been delisted by most places. Now, here's the thing that I would like to uh, point out about XRP. So who's going to buy XRP right now to drive up the price? Is it going to be China? Is it going to be Malaysia? Is it going to be Dubai? Is it going to be Brazil? Who's going to buy XRP right now, being that most Americans cannot right now? And X, uh, XRP trust on Grayscale has been removed. So you got to keep this in mind if you're waiting for XRP to grow, go up. So as you're looking at all these other projects around cryptocurrency that have legs and can move and will go up, what are you doing sitting in this project? It's like you can almost just go to someplace else and take that money that you have there, that XRP of value, and put it into Ethereum and watch that grow or something else. Now, obviously, again, not professional financial advice because I don't have a crystal ball. I'm just saying that would be my logical uh, you know, conclusion here is that who's going to buy it? Is it? Are they going to get real excited in Asia all of a sudden because it's been uh, delisted by a bunch of American exchanges. I mean, maybe they'll go to Icon or maybe they'll go with VeChain or maybe they'll go with uh, Tron, who knows? But why XRP all of a sudden? Um, so it seems like, yeah, you're going to get these little pumps here and there with XRP, but are you going to get out of the 30s? Is it going to go up into the 40s, 50s, 60s again? Well, not until they um, resolve the situation with the SEC. Could that happen sooner than later? Yes. And then could that send this uh, project up a bit, maybe into the 40s or 50s, sure. But if you look at the grand scheme of things in the cryptocurrency market, there's a lot to be excited for um, outside of XRP, just sitting there kind of as a lame duck project that's not really going to move sitting here at number five. But doesn't mean that once it once it comes out of the uh, you know SEC's uh, limelight and it actually is cleared and we have regulatory uh, clarity, then it could be a great project again to get involved in. But here's where I get really optimistic for you guys. And this is where I want to give you guys hope because what I'm really excited about is Flare Network. So you guys know that the XRP Flare interoperability that took place, I believe on what was it, December 12th or December 11th? Uh, it was a screenshot that was taken for everyone who had XRP in their wallet. 
Uh, so this is where I'm excited for you guys. So I think if you guys were excited about XRP, now you should get excited about Flare Spark Token. And so that's what I would encourage you all to become excited about. While XRP is kind of on timeout, kind of elsewhere, this is where I want you guys to sh shift your focus. So um, at least if I was you, I mean, again, I'm sounds like I'm giving you advice, but I'm just saying that's where I've got my focus. I'm starting to become more and more excited about Flare Network. And so you guys can come over here and keep up to date with everything that is going on with Flare. Uh, they haven't really been tweeting too much, uh, but I'd like to see them tweet more. I would also like to see uh, XRP do a little bit more tweeting. Um, unfortunately, they haven't really done too much either. But I'm really excited about Flare. And if we go right into here and we see what Flare is up to, you can see they are a part of the, uh, the blockchain tokens in the decentralized applications, right? So they're building this on XRP or Ripple's XRP, which is did not exist in the legacy XRP. It's kind of like you almost get the feeling like XRP is going to be like Ethereum Classic. <laughs> it's like everything that, uh, you know, every project has a different reason why it has to fork or go into a different blockchain or do something new. Uh, it's just like Ripple had its time, Bitcoin had its time, but this right now obviously is XRP's time and Flare is the solution to that. They're not calling it a fork, but it's an airdrop, which is a little bit different. Uh, in a lot of different ways, it's different, but uh, that's going to really change things because now you can see they do have the decentralized applications, the dApps that are going to be available through the uh, Flare token uh, airdrop. So the world's first Turing complete FBA network scalable and doesn't base safety on a native token. So integrate Ethereum virtual machine. So it's going to have the integration with Ethereum and low transaction costs, which we all love. So they're taking the really fast transaction uh, speeds that you have with Ripple XRP, giving it over to Flare integrating some of the more modern mechanics of the blockchain here in 2021, 2022 heading forward. And that's why I'm excited about Flare. So if you are invested in the XRP project or still there and you're just holding, I wouldn't expect too much price action. I wouldn't call it dead, but I would call it a lame duck right now. You're going to have little micro pumps where someone's going to come in and say, hey, let's see if we can wake this thing up. But again, it's still not going to allow Americans to invest in it. So um, that's going to leave you with other tokens or coins that are going to get that attention as that top tier micro cap or um, high supply coin that's going to be like the penny stock that's going to be available. And, you know, Cardano, not on Coinbase. So where do you go when you find it? Well, you find it in Stellar. Stellar is like it's sitting at 26 cents. And uh, when people go on there, that's going to be their top pick for their under a dollar purchase for retail investors. And right now, Stellar hasn't really made a move against XRP. Both these projects are really akin, but Stellar's not making a move. XRP's not making a move. Cardano could make a move if it was listed on uh, Coinbase. If Cardano ever got on Coinbase, wow. So, I mean, if you're if you're one of those guys who liked uh, the, the superior tech of fast transactions, uh, cross-border transactions with XRP, you're going to like what Cardano is working on. Like I said, retail investors always like something under a dollar. The institutional guys, they're like, give me Bitcoin for 33000 Can you make it a little bit more? Let's pump it to 50000 real quick. And then the retail guys, they're not, they can't even afford it. Retail people are bored. They don't even want to get into uh, Ethereum. Most, uh, most of these uh, retail guys, they, they can't afford Ethereum either. So that's why they always go to these under a penny or under a dollar uh, coins and that's why doge is so popular it's not because people are like oh wow i love the dog it's because it's an old legacy coin and it just so happens to have a funny dog that they can make a meme about but really at the end of the day uh, it's because you could get it for under a penny and everyone thinks that's just such a smoking hot deal so i think that's what really made xrp popular to begin with was fast transaction speeds cross-border remittance and then the fact that it was always really easy to get your hands on uh, because it wasn't too expensive. But now that it's hard to get your hands on, it's still cheap, you're going to have to wait. So I think you can get a lot of movement in, in other projects, maybe even Polkadot, if you're willing to take that leap or Chainlink. Uh, some of these other projects, even Stellar right now, uh, seems like a decent one. But really where I'm looking 
If I'm trying to leave XRP community and go to something that's really interesting, I'm looking at Algorand. Algorand right here. Because you can also stake it. So if you guys are into XRP Ripple and you're one of those people who've been in the community, uh, new or old, I'm looking at things like Flare Network to really relieve some of my stress. And I'm also looking at Algorand and some of these other projects like Polkadot. So these are just some ideas. Let me know what you guys think about XRP, if it's dead or alive, if you think it's still got some legs to um, go. But I just can't help but think, I mean, the retailers are, are not going to go for it. Institutional uh, investors are cut off in the United States because look at Grayscale had to cut it off on January 13th. So what do you guys think? Do you think it's a good hold right now or are you guys... Uh, completely content with missing the boat if it leaves the harbor. Okay, so if you guys are brand new to Blockchain Bulls, you can subscribe and keep up with us, and we'll see you guys on the next video.